Over the next 5 minutes, we'll go over the following. Using search for troubleshooting. Search syntax for power users. Using filters to narrow the scope. Using logs table to see event details. Viewing log context. Saving searches and alerting on logs. To use logs for troubleshooting, you first need to ship them to Semitext. You can ship logs via Syslog or via the Elasticsearch API. Any logging library, such as Log4j or any log shipper like Logstash, Filebeat, Syslog, and numerous other shippers that support Syslog or the Elasticsearch API can be used. Once your logs are in Semitext, there are two main high-level use cases for logs, analytics and troubleshooting. The analytics use case involves building out reports, charts, and dashboards with data extracted from logs you ship to Semitext. The troubleshooting use case involves log searching, filtering, inspection, correlation, etc. This is what you do when you're trying to find the root cause of downtime, production issues, bugs, etc. And this is what we'll focus on in this video. Troubleshooting typically starts with searching and or filtering. Semitext features powerful Google-like search syntax, together with auto-completion of recent queries, filtering, and more. Here are some of the search options at your disposal. You can include and exclude keywords by using plus or minus signs. You can use phrases and fielded search. You can use AND, OR, NOT operators, use proximity, fuzzy, wildcard, range searches, and more. You can build elaborate queries that make use of all of this to zoom in on whatever you are after. Let's do some log searching. When you start searching logs, you'll see a list of suggested recent and previously saved searches. This makes it faster for you to rerun recent or saved searches. Down here at the bottom, you will see a helpful search syntax cheat sheet. The chart at the top shows the count of matching logs over time. The matching events are shown below and matching search terms are highlighted. Searching logs make sense when you know what you are looking for and are looking for something specific. But there are times when you need to explore data, or at least narrow it down. In such cases, it is often more convenient to use filters. To include or exclude events with certain field values, simply select the plus or minus sign next to the field value. You can, of course, use both filters and search keywords at the same time. Let's look at log events themselves. They are shown in a table with columns that represent your event fields. You can choose which fields to show. You can also drag columns to reorder them. Note that the timestamp column also shows how long ago an event occurred, so you don't have to do the time math in your head. Each row can be expanded to expose the full log event. As you can see, you can use filters here too. You can also easily copy the value of each field. If you prefer, you can view logs as JSON, which is useful when log events represent objects with nested structures. Sometimes, you want to just focus on logs and nothing else. To help with that, you can collapse both the navigation on the left and fields on the right. Or you can simply maximize this logs table. Hitting Escape will reset it back to its original size and position. Once you find critical error messages, you typically want to see what happened a few seconds before or after. To do that, you can view the log context. One click, and you see your error messages in the context of their surrounding log events, just like you would see it in the terminal. Showing the log context ignores the query and filters, and thus lets you see events that query and filters would otherwise hide. This is a huge time saver for troubleshooting. Another common troubleshooting scenario occurs during software deployments. Traditionally, engineers would open many terminal windows to tail and grab a bunch of log files to look for errors. In Semitext, you can use LiveTail to do just that, but without opening any terminal windows. For example, we could see the real-time log stream showing us only failed requests in our web server logs. This is handy if you want to see relatively low-frequency events and want to have them streamed in real time. Finally, you can save a search for later use by clicking on the floppy disk icon. Here, you can set up alerting and anomaly detection options to define alerts based on the saved query. 
you can define alert conditions, when notifications should be sent, and more. Please watch the alerts in Semitex Cloud video for further details. Enjoy Semitext!